Wow. That's a nice one here. We're sitting right there at that drain. That's him right there. He's got a little fat belly. He's been uh, he's been feeding uh, feeding well. Hey, what's up, Salt Strong family? It's Pat, and I am back out here on the kayak and on the water. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm actually fishing the afternoon. It's right about two o'clock in the in the afternoon when I put in. And the reason why I'm launching late is because I really wanted to catch an outgoing tide and fish these grass lines. And the reason why I'm doing that is I want to do a comparison. So I've been fishing these grass lines for the past couple of months, having some really good success with it, throwing different lures. But what I want to do is I want to do a comparison. I want to see if fishing these grass lines, is it better using a shrimp presentation or is it better to use a paddle tail? So seeing how the bait's small, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the Power Prawn USA Junior against the 2.0 and what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to settle in on the gold digger color unless uh, something else dictates but if I do end up changing colors what I'm going to do is I'm going to change both of them there we go <laughs> what do we got here still haven't seen the fish oh, nice little red not too bad not too shabby at all there we go. I found the uh, culprit of busting up on that uh, bait along that grass line. Uh, got him on the uh, the Slam Shady, or excuse me, the Gold Digger uh, 2.0. So pretty cool fish there. And he's out. Okay, so I've been out here for a little while and um, I had to come up with a little change of plans here. Uh, reason why it's a little too windy out here once I got in the open and the 8th ounce Haas Helix hook uh, they were a little too light. I wasn't able to get the casting distance that I wanted to, and uh, I really couldn't, um, you know, control it with the wind. There was a lot of bow in the line, and uh, just, uh, you know, the the I needed a change up to something a little bit. Uh, uh, if not a little bit heavier, something I can control on the wind a little bit better. So what I did was I switched to the Haas Helix and the football jig head, uh, still the eighth ounce. Now the reason why I want to go with eight, eighth ounce is I'm not dealing with uh, very deep water. It's not deep water at all, so I didn't want to throw a quarter of an ounce. I thought that was too much. Uh, you know, we're only fishing maybe a couple of feet deep, so I'm still going to go with the eighth ounce. Uh, so here's the setups right here. Uh, this is the Power Prawn USA Junior in the Gold Digger color on that eighth ounce. Uh, this is the 2.0 and the gold digger again on that eighth ounce uh, the setup that i have the rods that i have them on uh, they are the same length and the same uh, power and the same action that's a medium light 76 star sieges the reel is a daiwa bgm q2500 10 pound daiwa jaybray grand and i got 20 pound andy monofilament leader same thing over here uh, this is a seven foot six inch star vpr same reel same line same leader so everything is as close as we can uh, as close as possible as we can Hmm. Okay, so I got this guy right here. I was uh, fishing along this grass line right here, and what happened was I was seeing some uh, some bait, just a tiniest little bit of bait, uh, pushing right along this grass line, and you just see it flicker just a little bit. And from uh, fishing the grass lines over in Louisiana, this that's exactly what the fish were doing. Uh, you could see them push the uh, push the bait up. Let's get this out of the way here. You'd see the fish pushing the bait up, and uh, man, that's a uh, that's a pretty little fish right there. Very cool. And all I did was just lead the fish. I saw the, saw where the bait was. I put it right in front of him, and uh, sure enough, he took it. There we go. Very cool. Okay, so that is one for the shrimp and one for the 2.0. So uh, it is evened up now. Wow, there's a nice one here. We're sitting right there at that drain. Where are you taking me, buddy? This is gonna be uh, interesting. There we go. Come on. Let's go. So now that is two for the shrimp. Pull him on a board, get him undone. So we've got we got two and one. There we go. <laughs> Lost my lure, but that's him right there. He's got a little fat belly. He's been uh, he's been feeding uh, feeding well. So this was the last fish of the day, and it ended up evening the score up at two fish for the paddle tail. That was the 2.0, and then two fish for the shrimp imitation, which was the Power Prawn USA Junior. So 
So at the end of the day, that wind up being a tie with two of the lures. And I want to talk to you quickly about the lures and actually something that's really important when it comes to catching fish. So this was the shrimp imitation that I was using. This is our Power Prime USA Junior and the Gold Digger color, which I feel is one of the best shrimp imitations out there just because of the way that it glides and the fact that you can rig this multiple different ways. You can rig this weedless, you can put it on a jig head. It's not a pre-rigged lure, so however you want to rig it, you can use it and it will be effective. And this is the paddle tail here. This is our 2.0, which is a three and a half inch paddle tail. This is the gold digger color, which is a black with a gold flake. Now, if you're not familiar with what I do, I'm actually a traveling fishing coach. I go all over the country. I live full time in an RV and these lures right here, this 2.0 and this power prawn are my go-to lures no matter where I go. And I catch fish all over the country with these. But with that being said, lures are important. The way that we rig them are important, but really what's even more important is finding the feeding fish. And I believe most people's problems, most people's situations that they have with not getting the quantity of the fish that they want or the quality of the fish that they want is because they're not fishing where the feeding fish are. Whenever the lure comes into play or the color comes into play, that's when we're fishing for fish that really aren't actively feeding. But once you find feeding fish, everything becomes easier and that's what's important. So if you're struggling on the quality of the fish that you're catching and the quantity of the fish that you're catching, we wanna be fishing where the feeding fish are and that's exactly what we do at Salt Strong. What we do is we teach you how to find the feeding fish quicker. We have technology like our smart fishing spots that helps you find the fish. We have mastery courses that will tell you what to do once you get to those spots. And then we have discounts on all the tackle that you need in order for you to catch those fish that you actually find. So if you're interested in becoming a better inshore angler, I highly recommend joining us at saltstrong.com and check out the Insider Club where we have tens of thousands of insiders that are sharing and receiving information that is all helping them find more fish quicker, all while saving money. So again, check it out at saltstrong.com. And if you're interested in trying any of the gear that we use, whether that be the Power Prawn USA and the junior or the senior size, our paddle tails, which is our 2.0s, our mulligans, our bombers. If you need any rods or reels, we have tons of those available at fishstrong.com. So for any of your inshore fishing needs, check it out. It's fishstrong.com. And our insiders will receive a discount off the tackle that they buy. And a lot of times that more than pays for their memberships. So check it out at fishstrong.com. Strong.com.